Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Georgia. And for my regular subscribers, thank you for coming back. I know in uh, my last video that I uploaded, I told you guys that I was condensing my YouTube channel from three down to one. So now that all of my videos, I've transferred them from my other channel are all on my main channel. I finished uploading everything. So you may see some videos from last year, some holiday videos, but everything is over here. Um, what I'm going to do today is show you how to make a thumbnail for free. For instance, this over here right here is a thumbnail that I made because my other videos, they didn't have thumbnails. So I wanted to go ahead and put thumbnails in some of them to make them more outstanding. So I'm going to make thumbnails today and I just want to show you how to go about making yours for free. That way you don't have to hire a graphic designer or anything like that and um, how you could get some free images. So today I'm going to make a thumbnail for this video, types of jobs in photography. Even though the video is only a minute long, you still want it to stand out. So um, I want to make a thumbnail and I'm going to show you how to do it. So there's two places that you could get images from and we're going to do two thumbnails using those places. So the way that you make the free tool that you use or the free website that we're going to use today is uh, called um, Canva. So if you've never heard about Canva, it is a free website that you can use. They also have an upgraded version for um, where you could pay, but we're going to use the free one today. So it's a free website where you can do your own graphic designs. So they already have the configuration for the YouTube thumbnail. If you want to, if you're writing an ebook and you need a, a book cover, you could create one yourself. If you need to make like a header for your YouTube channel or even your website, you also have the option to do it here. Everything is already laid out for you. So when you get a chance, log on to Canva and come over here and just, um, you know, browse it and see what's, what's available and what would be good for you. So all these down here are all thumbnails that I've graphic design for thumbnails that I've created over the past year or so and um, other things that I use it for. So like I said, we're going to create a YouTube thumbnail today for that video types of uh, jobs in photography. So the way we do it first, you click on you click on the, um, the design that you want and we're going to do a pretty easy one or both of them are going to be quick and easy, but also it's going to start out with, um, it's going to start out with a blank white canvas like this. And if you want to change the background color to any color they have, you could upload your own color from down here. If you like, you have a, a design or a specific color that's not within their color wheel, you could upload it. These are all things that I uploaded that I used but they also have their own background colors. There are paid versions, like I said, and there's free. And the way to distinguish it is right here on the side. It tells you which colors are free, which images are free that you could use. And let me scroll down a little bit so you could see the ones that you would have to pay for if you choose to. See, they have some pre a pretty large selection of free uh, background colors. See this one, they will charge you a dollar. And, um, most likely is usually a dollar. I've never seen any gone beyond a dollar, but there are tons and tons of free designs that you could use. So I'm going to do it with, uh, let me do this yellow color. It may not be, you know, the prettiest, but I'm going to do that yellow color. Also, you could come up here where you have the color wheel and let me see something. Let's click on that. And then you know you have different colors here but I like that yellow so I'm gonna go back with it all right now I feel like I want an image on here where would I get an image well canva have free images for you so where you go to find your images you go into layouts and then I'm gonna type photography And then it's going to pull up 
all these images that it has relating to photography. And again, you have free images and paid ones. So let's scroll through and see which one I'm going to use. I think I like this one right here with the person actually holding the camera in their hand. Um, let me scroll down a little bit because now we're getting into the paid ones and we don't want that. So let me scroll back up. Let's just use this one in the interest of time. You click on it and you see it jumps right over onto the um, onto the design that you're doing. Now you have a way of adjusting it. You could either just click on the side and stretch it out to cover or you could also you know, just click and slide to minimize and you could also move this image anywhere you want to all over the page. See, just click on it and slide. So what I'm going to do, like I said, in the interest of time, I'm just going to drop this image here. You could also change the position of the image if you want to, as far as the angle by just click on this little uh, squirrely thing down here that I hit rotate and then just slide your mouse and see it goes anywhere you want. But I am just going to sit it in the middle right here, straight, let it be straight. And I'm going to stretch it out to fill up the top let me slide it up to cover now you could add a second image if you want to let me just show you as a quick as a quick um see second image minimize slide it's so easy to use so so easy and then what I'm going to do the thing is, when you stretch on one side, the whole picture is going to open up. It's okay if it falls um, a little bit beyond the line because when you do save it, it won't have it sitting like this. You, it'll just cut it off where it needs to. So let's just do this in the interest of time and then we're going to add some text over here. So the way you do text is you come over here, hit on the word text, the letter T, and then it gives you it gives you options again you slide and then it tells you the type of text there's one particular text that I love using because it is so bold and it stands out and I'm trying to find it I forgot well okay yeah this is the font right here welcome little one I like the way this looks so you click on it and then the text will jump over here. Let me see, did I click? There we go. Maybe a little bit of delay, but eventually it will. Slide over. And then stretch it out a little bit if you choose to. So what you do is you double click on the inside of the text box. And it allows you to type exactly what you want inside. So let me just backspace a little bit and types of jobs in types of job and photography now we don't need this bottom little bottom piece right here so what we do we click on inside of that box and you could either highlight it it's a little tricky you could either highlight it or just backspace until everything goes away and then the whole box will disappear it will realize that it's not needed and it will disappear I'm just gonna slide this up a little bit towards the top I'm going too far okay if you have trouble sliding just try to get that thing that look like a star somewhere and um, you'll be okay it's rotating we don't want that there it is that little star that's what I call it. I don't know what, what do you call this symbol, right? the little white symbol right there. So we have this, but now we have an empty space. What you can do is click on the box again and stretch it if you want. Or you could change the size of the font by going up here to the top. Clicking on the drop, drop down button, it gives you the font size. So right now it's at 54.4. Let's see what happens if we change it to 64. See? But then it messes up the uh, word. So you just have to play with the box and get it to the size that you want. So 
that's one way to make a um to make a thumbnail now the way you save it is by downloading it to your computer and saving it as an image so you click download and you save it as a png image and then you'll have to choose where you want to um, save it it also canva also asks you to share your design online but i usually don't i just save it to my computer in order to upload it to my um to my youtube video whichever one i'm making at the time so let me just find where i usually save it okay in pixels i got it and then just click save all right so that's one way to make your youtube thumbnail now i'm going to show you another site where you could get free images if you're making a youtube thumbnail so we're going to start all over I know this video is a little bit long but it's helpful i appreciate you watching so again we're going to make another youtube thumbnail we're going to use the same title the same for the same video but we're going to get our image at a different place now you don't want to go to google to get your images because you don't want to have any um copyright issues and you don't want to have your video suspended just because your thumbnail image isn't right so we go over to a free website again which is called pexels p-e-x-e-l-s p-e-x-e-l-s yes pexels which is a free website so you have images so depending and what you're looking for you just type in the keyword and i was over here earlier so we typed in photography click the search button and any free images having to do with photography will show up. So then you scroll through. You know, I was like I said, I was already in here. I found one that I like. So you'll scroll through and find an image that you may like. So what I did, I like this one right here because I'm in the big city. This reminds me of New York City. So I really like this. And you know, it's just a very nice image. So you click on it click on free download see and then you save that to let me just call it NYC for now because that's what I like and it will be easier to find NYC sorry to interrupt do you like what you see so far of this video if you don't want to miss any more of my future uploads go ahead and click the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you'll be aware of when I upload. saved it wherever Okay, now you go back over to Canva. Oh, before I go over to Canva, Pexel, they ask for you sometimes to donate. You can do that if you want to, but it's not uh, mandatory. They ask you to donate, which would be nice. You know, these people are uploading free images for you, so it would be nice to just support the community. So now we go back over to Canva. Um, I believe it's this one. Yep. And the way we get that image that we just downloaded from Pexel is by clicking on the upload button and then upload your own image and then remember it's in this folder called pexels i use it all the time so i give it its own folder and the picture is called nyc show yourself and here is the image click it open it up and you're going to see a little um notification bar letting you know it's uploading just give it a second okay why is it taking so long let me do it again to be sure go to pexels click on nyc open it up and that's all you should need for it to upload so I don't understand why it's taking so long let me see it's not it's usually at the top so where is it come on computer don't embarrass me I want this to upload because I want to show you how you could use that picture as your background image. Come on, come on. Stop playing. A 
upload your own image. I'm going to do it one more time. I know it supports that file, the PNG file, so I don't understand, like I said, why. Oh, it's J J P JPG file. It supports that file, so I don't understand why it's not uploading. All right, let's see if we could find another image. But you you have an idea of what to do. So let's see. Let's take one of these other images that's already here. And we're going to use, let me use this one that looks like the road. So. Really? Okay. So the way you do it, you stretch it. Again, hold on to the side, stretch the image, make sure it covers the entire face of, um, or the entire size of the YouTube thumbnail. And again, you can move it up, down, and around if you choose to. It's okay if you stretch beyond the point because it would only save what you put in. And the way to um, add text again is just by hitting on or T and let's do the same font that we did a little while ago which is called um, welcome welcome little one yep this font and just waiting for it let's stretch it a little bit stretch it open it up a little bit so It'll be nice and big, and I'm going to change the wording inside from welcome little one to types of job in photography. types of job in photography. Now you could also change the color of the wording inside. I'm going to do that so you could see. Well, let's get rid of this at the bottom. See, I was able to highlight. Now just delete. That's gone. And then to change the color, if you go up, scroll up a little bit above it, you'll see the color black in a little cube. If you want to change it to a different color, you can. And this is just for just for fun. See purple. Nah, you don't want that. And again, you can move it all around if you choose to. See, there's tons of stuff you could do with Canva. I'm waiting for it to actually show me the other colors. But my computer is acting up today. It's misbehaving. So, in the interest of time, guys, I'm not going to hold you no more. So, I think I've given you enough to help you to go ahead and make your own um to make your own thumbnail for youtube for youtube videos because like i said you don't want to spend a lot of money on that with something you could do yourself and it's so easy using a website like canva so again i thank you for watching my video please remember to like this channel subscribe leave a comment if you wish and go ahead and watch my videos and i look forward to your uploads if you have videos uploading just get out there and get your content out again thank you for watching and until next time take care bye bye